the Yagyuda antenna working. The Yagyuda antenna, often referred to simply as a Yagi antenna, is a widely used directional antenna design in the field of radio communication and broadcasting. It was invented in the early 1920s by Japanese engineers Hidetsugu Yagi and Shintaro Uda. The Yagyuda antenna is known for its high gain and directional characteristics, making it suitable for a variety of applications, including television reception, amateur radio, and point-to-point -point communication. Key features of a Yagyuda antenna include Driven element this is the primary radiating element of the antenna and is connected directly to the feed line, typically a coaxial cable. It is the element that generates the radio waves. Reflector Positioned behind the driven element, the reflector is typically a slightly longer metal rod or wire. It doesn't connect to the feed line but instead reflects radio waves generated by the driven element forward. Directors, multiple director elements are positioned in front of the driven element, with each director being progressively shorter than the one before it. These directors focus and amplify the radio waves in the direction of the target. Spacing and length, the spacing and length of the elements are carefully designed to achieve optimal performance and directionality. This design is typically calculated based on the desired frequency of operation. Balloon, a balloon, balanced to unbalanced transformer, is often used to match the balanced antenna elements to the unbalanced feed line, such as coaxial cable. Yagyuda antennas are known for their unidirectional radiation pattern which means they transmit or receive radio waves most effectively in one specific direction, often referred to as the antennas, beam. This makes them excellent choices for point-to-point -point communication, where you want to transmit or receive signals from a particular direction while minimizing interference from other directions. Yagi antennas are widely used for various purposes, including TV reception, especially in areas with weak signals, amateur radio communication, and wireless data links. They come in various sizes and configurations to suit different frequency bands and applications.